Hello world, it's me, I'm Reiji, and welcome back to Dream Alone. Now let's continue on with our adventure. So we are now in the city where Pinocchio lives. Okay, I guess that's a dead end, so we're supposed to go to the left. construction being done in the city like what dead end that's on so were we really supposed to go to the left okay can you drop so I could try to... Okay, I guess that doesn't work. So we're supposed to go to the right. So... Let's try jumping over these spikes. Yep. Hmm. Jump over this hole. I just noticed that there aren't any traps anymore. Those... Remember those bear traps that we used to step on in the first map, in the first chapter, the forest? Well, unfortunately, I haven't seen one of those. Ah, yeah, it's Pinocchio, if you can see down there. So, um, hey there. So, let's see if... Okay. Um, I guess we're supposed to go the other way since we can't go where he is because he doesn't give us any room to jump over him. Wait. Okay. So now the paths are somewhat branched oh okay so now I get it I had to wait for him to go under the platform so that I could jump over him okay so let's do that again well this might take a few seconds since we're waiting for him to come back Pinocchio or at least the creepy version of Pinocchio okay let's go So far, so good. Nothing's happening, we're just moving forward. Hmm. Yeah, let's go up here. Because I don't trust that. I think something might fall on top of me, so yeah, let's try to avoid that path. Avoid Pinocchio. So now we have energy to go into the alternate reality. Hmm. Okay, so let's just wait for. Wait, let's check if there's. No, there's nothing. So let's just wait for that Pinocchio to come close so that we can jump over him because Pinoc um, Pinocchios are quite tall. And I can't jump over them on even ground, on even ground, so yeah, I have to wait for them to come over to ledges so that I could jump over them. Oh! I did not expect that. 
jump. Where was that? Um, can you hurry up a bit because you know, kill this right behind me. Yeah. So, mm hmm. Um, um, um. Falling bricks. Huge brick. And, oh shoot. So I'll stand right near that crane in the background. Stand where that crane is. Move forward. Stop over here. Yep. And use our altered reality because I think. No. I missed. I missed my jump. I jumped too soon. We're back here. Falling bricks. Huge bricks falling. And. Okay. Jump. Properly timed jumps. Hmm. I think there should be a ladder, right? Yeah. Knew it. Why is the camera zooming out? It's not pressure triggered, so okay. What? Okay. Bridge. London Bridge was falling down. In that door. Let's check this one out first. Huh. Interesting. Let's just continue. Let's see. Okay. I did not expect for that thing to fall on my head. So let's see what's Okay. Hmm. Ah, hidden door. Okay. Good. Hmm. Let's go in here. So we need to keep an eye out for falling planks and falling bricks or anything that falls. So wait, let's check. No, nothing. Okay, let's go down with this thing. Um, no, let's just ignore that. I think we have enough alternate reality energy to keep us alive or to progress with the game hopefully because if I remember right that was the tank that fell on my head yeah so what nothing so let's just use this brick to jump over oh it's a mini Pinocchio Mini Pinocchios. They move faster and are hard to see, but at least we could jump over them. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that there would be a ladder here. Or not. Hmm. Odd. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Hey, long time no see. Whatever. Okay, he stops right over here. I don't think we could jump over him. And there's a mini me. Or mini it. Okay. Oh! Hmm. 
Are we supposed to go that way? Wait. No, I don't think we could go up here. I don't think there are anything here. But let's try to jump over these. I don't think I could jump over them, right? Maybe there are hidden doors that I missed. No, okay. I don't think I could jump over them. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? I don't know what to do because if you can see their height is a bit higher compared to me because they're floating a bit off the ground. Hmm. So I can't jump over that thing. Can't believe I missed that. Now I don't have enough alternate reality. Oh, okay. Luckily, we don't need it. Can't believe I missed that. Sorry, guys. I messed up, but good. These were done with oh, okay. Thought we were done with this. It's not. Anything that might fall on top of me? No. Anything that might kill me? Nothing. Okay. Anything now? Any minute now? Hmm. Let's go up. Hmm. I'm guessing those are gonna fall when I'm when I'm gonna step on them. So let's try. No. Hidden doors? No. Hmm. Nothing. That's odd. Okay, there's supposed to be something. Okay, good. Oh, my energy is about to run out. Okay. No. Okay. We were so close and we're cornered. Okay. Is 
it's not like he's gonna give me any room to jump right I can't jump over him it's probably a dead end so yeah I think we could do there so close we just missed that one last ledge floating platform thought we could have made it but oh well let's try that one again <clears throat> I don't think I need to use my alternate reality right yep I jumped too soon shoot and I'm dead uh, let's just get it over with move as far as we can so go yes nothing nothing okay let's go down three ladders why not just jump off the ledge okay and we're back here Oh yeah, um, guys, if you haven't heard the news, uh, Monster Hunter World will be releasing details on the actual publishing date for the Monster Hunter. Oops, I missed my jump. Shoot. Okay, we we're, were able to salvage that. So yeah, Monster Hunter World will be releasing details on its PC release this July 9. Monday so yeah I'm excited so that we'll finally know when it will be released on PC because the last um, what do you call this the target date was supposed to be fall of 2018 but yeah it's a season and not an exact date so hopefully by Monday we will know wait okay let's go up so by Monday, we'll know when will be the exact date of the release of Monster Hunter World in PC. And the, what do you call this? The system requirements and among other details. So yeah, just stay tuned to Monster Hunter World on Twitter so that you'll be updated with the latest news concerning Monster Hunter World. Oi! Well, at least we didn't respond that far. What? What killed me? What? What? What killed us? I don't know. I guess the spikes on those elevator on that elevator maybe and that thing falls on our heads somewhere here where is that okay nothing okay 
let's go down. Jump over. What? It's a dead end. What the? I guess I'm not supposed to go down that ladder. So let's go here, that thing drops, and let's not just go down the ladder, we'll jump over it, or jump over the ledge. Wait. Okay, so it's zooming out to let us know that where the, you know, queue was. So yeah, we're done with this stage. Nope, we're not. We're still not done with Pinocchio. Just jump over this one. Oh! Hmm. Oh yeah, that's water down there. No, that's not the hole. This is the hole. So let's check out what's in this. Hmm. Okay. I guess he'll give me room to jump up this ladder. Yep, I guess it's right because during my first time that plank fell on my head, I noticed that it was a bit longer than usual and the trigger for that cuts or that thing that falls on our head is a bit far so we I knew we didn't have room to Wait, this is pressure triggered? No. We didn't have room to let it fall down on our head and go back, so yes. Okay. Pressure triggered, so yeah. Okay. So we step on this and we jump. Okay, we missed. And we're gonna be dead. And we're dead. And we're dead. Okay, he's giving us a second chance. Oddly enough. Okay. So let's go left. Oh no. Let's just go right because left is was where that long plank fell on our hands. Hmm. Another curious hole. A dead end? Yep, it's really a dead end. So let's fall down this hole. Those are some huge pipes. Hmm. Let's go up. I think there was um, an alternate reality energy potion up there. Looks like we're inside the house. Is it the house of Pinocchio? And that's one huge house. Can't even look out the window. That thing's not gonna jump on me, right? I just realized, oddly enough... Wait, what was that? Oddly enough that... When you go into the alternate reality, you don't see... What? Okay, I guess those are some high voltage wires. 
when you go back when you go into the alternate reality you don't see any more people hanging from the ceiling or hanging from trees or hanging from anything unlike in the forest where if you go into the alternate reality you see some a lot of dead people but as the game progresses you don't see anything anymore so like this one I don't see anyone hanging from the ladder hanging from the ceiling no nothing I guess I wanted it to be more creepy though since if you go into the alternate reality and you see more the dead people it would be a bit creepier but yeah. Or maybe that's just a painting. Because as you can see, there's something hanging on top of that frame, which looks like it was nailed to the wall. So I guess it's not a window, but just a picture of Pinocchio, I guess. Okay, we're supposed to go here. Jump over you. Okay. TV. I'll just wait for this Pinocchio to turn around and so that I can jump over it. Man, it's dark. Shoot, I fell. Hopefully, we're not in the right way. So we'll backtrack. Man, it's dark. And what is that? Okay, I guess those are just some statues. Wait, am I cornered? I guess I am. We'll just try to jump over that um, electric wire. Hopefully, we'll not die. We'll just go back up since I don't think we could jump over that wire on the far right corner because it was higher than this one. So what's on the left side? Now I'm curious. Can you move a bit faster? door that's pl all planked up. Potion? Is this pressure triggered? No. Okay, so let's go back to the right. Let's wait for it to come back. Oh, wait. That's gonna be tricky. Oh man. Now I'm all the way back here. Wait. Where am I? Oh yeah, this this thing here. Then go up into the house. It's a bit quite far from where we where we were, where we died, so... Okay. So I guess we need to go to the left so that we'll be able to trigger that switch. Oh wait! This ain't it yet, so... Huh. So I was right, we were a bit far from where we were. Let's jump over you. Can't just rush. 
No, I can't rush and jump over him. And we're back here. Yes, there's nothing I can do but wait for them to come. Oh, come on! Seriously. At least they move at a uniform pace rather than those shadows back there that weren't moving at a uniform pace so okay not again wait I'm cornered hmm. Let's just get out of here, finish the stage. Okay, let's just wait for him to come back. Okay, there's like two of them. Oh, come on. I'm not jumping over that. They don't even move at a uniform speed. I just don't want to risk it. This one on the right moves faster than the one on the left, so hopefully this one will turn around so that we can jump over him. Come on, turn around. Okay. So... Where was it? Uh, was it this one? Let's move far. I guess that's the old lady, the witch, black witch, dark woman, black woman, I forgot the name, what was her name again, hopefully checkpoint so that we won't have to go back that far, so, so far so good, is this pressure triggered? No. Interesting. So let's continue on. Okay, I don't want to jump. So let's just go up. So what did that switch do? Hopefully it triggered something so that we'll be able to make progress. Hmm, dead end. Oops. Nothing. Yes, we should be going right instead of left. What? Okay. Go up, I guess.
Get me out of this stage. It's not that this stage is hard, it's just that I'm kind of annoyed with waiting for Pinocchios to walk back to me so that I can jump over them. It's a bit time consuming. Okay. Oh, it's just a painting of a... What looks to be like a Dracula or vampire? Because of the cloak, I guess. Let's just go up. Hmm. Gargoyle. Creepy. I wonder who owns this house because it's quite huge. Everything in this house is huge. Dead end. Wait. Yep, dead end. Hopefully we will be able to reach the, uh, what I'm guessing is the top floor or the attic, so we will be able to get out of this house. Okay, it's just a suit of armor. I don't know what that is, but at least it's you not know, jumping out of the dark to attack us. Dead end. What? Did I miss something? Dead end. I can't go right, I can't go left. So, am I supposed to go down? Maybe I missed a switch or something? Maybe I'm supposed to go right? Or this gargoyle? More gargoyles and more ghost lady statues, more gargoyles. Man, she loves her gargoyles. Or he, we I mean, don't know. I'm guessing this the owner of the house is that black lady, or maybe it's Pinocchio. Okay, so right is a dead end, so let's try to go left. I don't think we're supposed to use our alternate reality energy since so far they didn't give us any potions to refill our energy. So, okay, dead end. Huh. So, are we supposed to go back down? Hopefully we just missed a switch. Oh wait, this is where I came from. Let's just go to the left. 
Maybe there was a switch that we overlooked. What? Wait, um... Let me just try to die and respawn so maybe I missed something. Let's see where we are going to respawn. How far? Seriously? We respawned this far? Now we're back at outside of the house. This is going to be one long game, one long chapter or stage or video because as you can see it respawned us quite far. Let's just save up our energy for, for when we encounter walls because maybe walls disappear whenever we go into the alternate reality. Odd enough though, do we really need to push that switch on the left side? So let's try to progress in the game without even touching that switch. Ah, oh, man. I remember this one. Hmm, oddly enough, it didn't turn around. So there was one switch there that I don't know where, what what it activated. So perhaps I missed a switch. That's why I encountered a dead end. Wait, no, not yet. I'll try to check on the left side first. So maybe that's what I did wrong. Can you turn around, Pinocchio? I can jump over you so that I don't have to wait for you. See, this is what I don't like about this stage because it takes quite some time for them to turn around. But I can move on with the game. Shoot. So I guess I need to go back and trigger that switch. First one that I encountered. 
Oh, let's, let's just die because it's gonna take quite a while to backtrack. So I guess that explains it why we were respawned this far because what we're about to encounter is a very long and tedious challenge puzzle game or puzzle. So yeah, so far I have encountered three switches, which I didn't, which I, which is not obvious on what it did, but hopefully we got it right this time. So we need to press all the switches that we've encountered. So the first switch is right up that ladder on the second floor or if this is the ground floor then second floor of this of this house so yeah um, the first switch is right over here on the left side let's go up first I really jump over you. I don't think so. So yeah, the first switch is right over here. Right here. So yeah, this is the first switch. Hopefully will not die because this is quite far from our checkpoint. Just bear with me on this video because I know it's quite long and nothing happens that much because we have to wait for those Pinocchios to move out of the way. So the second switch is on the right of this ladder. This is the second switch which which appears to doesn't do anything but I guess we needed to trigger all the switches. So yeah, let's hope you don't mess up. Oh shoot. Okay. I did not see that hole. So we're supposed we're supposed to go up the next ladder that we encounter. And we're supposed to go left since there was that fake wall where we needed to use our alternate reality to get through. Where's that? This one right here. <sighs> Let's just wait for Pinocchio to turn around.
Mm, there's like two of them. And he goes... Seriously. This is the third switch. Hopefully, I... it's the last switch that I missed that prevent us from making progress in the game. happen though if we ran out of alternate reality energy because you can't go through this wall if you ran out of energy it's upcoming wall right over here so we've triggered a total of three switches that isn't obvious on what happened, on what happens, or if it did anything. So hopefully that's that. And go. Wait. It's a big wall. No, it's a real wall. So you just were supposed to go up. There's some space before we could even touch that wall. Jump over this. So, a series of holes that we're just supposed to jump over. And hopefully, we won't make a mistake. left side first before going up a level so yes dead end okay let's go up so let's clear the entire floor first before going up a level because I think that what happened on my previous life we encountered a dead end because we went up the ladder a bit too soon If I remember right, there are no traps or no or nothing that would kill us in this floor. Just need to try and find that. Find any switches that we might miss. We might have overlooked. And this is a fake wall. Yep. Okay, so I guess, I'm guessing there are a total of four switches now. Hopefully we won't run out of alternate reality energy. So a total of four switches. So that would mean there were, there were switches on each floor, right?
So if we remember right, once we got out of the basement, we went up the second floor. There was a switch on the left side and when we go up to the third, I think it was the third floor. So there was a switch on the right of the ladder. The third switch was the one that we missed on the left side behind that visible wall with a bunch of wires behind that wall and that fourth one is on the floor with the gargoyles so hopefully we did not miss anything because I think we're running out of alternate reality energy they're not giving us any potions so if we missed anything or we don't have any alternate reality energy to go through fake walls then I think we're gonna be stuck and we have to do things over again let's hope we've gotten all of it hopefully there's a checkpoint soon moment of truth Am I supposed to go down here? Well, at least we were able to get out of the house. Hopefully, I went the right way. Once upon a time, there was a great battle. Thousands of soldiers marched and run fought and died. Yes, they died, all of them. And no one was ever found. Battlefield, there is no honor in war. So we were able to get out of the city finally because I think it was one of the most excruciating level to play because we needed to go back and find all of those hidden switches and if you ran out of energy I don't think you would be able to make progress and if you died you, f you spawned right outside of the house which was a bit far so yeah I'm just happy that we're done with that so yes now we're at the battlefield so we'll try to continue on in the next video because I think this is a very this episode is already taken quite some time so anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video see ya bye